everyone and welcome to my channel I am happy you are here today so if you see over here I have a rainbow and uh, this is my inspiration for my project this week because during spring season we are able to see some rainbows when they happen so this is a shaker super adorable and it's a dye that I just uh, got and I'm gonna be using this for another project but I just wanted to show you this adorable rainbow okay so what i created for this week are some bookmarks and look at this of course in rainbow order because that's the only way and super easy to put together they are very simple yet super beautiful and adorable and this is a great gift for those readers in our lives and uh, I think they can be made with different themes or stamps that you already have in your stash. And uh, let me show you what is it that I used for these bookmarks, okay? So the adorable dolls are colored using my alcohol markers. And they are, all of them come from this uh, adorable set. And she is my favorite doll in all this uh, uh, kit. And she's the reason I got this kit, okay? So I used Memento ink because I was going to use my alcohol markers. And if you see, no, I didn't paper piece the outfits because I laminated these bookmarks. So I need the layer to be like really, really flat in order for the lamination to be really, really sturdy and stay in place and then for the sentiment i used this uh, stamp over here from uh, bob bunny and it is super super adorable and of course uh, because i use my alcohol markers i had some bleeding in the back of the cardstock because i used regular cardstock for this so i used this uh, pattern paper in the back to cover uh, the bleeding and then for this uh, tassel over here there are just strings of yarn tied to the paper clip and then I unravel all the uh, strands in order to for this to look like that so these are super adorable and I think this is a great idea because let me grab one book and my idea for these uh, bookmarks is that you're going to use your clip like this and you're going to put it all the way and you're going to have your um, dolly over here and this is going to tell you where is it that you're reading so I think this is super adorable I love it and as I said nothing fancy or complicated always using what I already have in my stash and having fun and of course loving what I'm creating so Today we want to make one of this, okay? So let me put this aside and then get everything that we need for this. So I already started preparing this so the video is not too long. But I used a regular cardstock and the measurement for this one is 2 inches wide by 5 inches in height. And then I added this little flap over here because this is the one that is going to fold and it is going to be uh, hanging from the paper clip, okay? So we need that. We also need uh, our paper clip and because the unraveling of the yarn takes a little bit of time, I already started and I'm just going to make one just to show you how is it done. And uh, we're going to need some pattern paper for the back because as I told you, the coloring uh, has some bleeding over here. So we need to cover that. And uh, we are also going to need some um, glue dots. And of course we need our plastic for laminating. Okay. And... Uh, we are also going to need a corner chomper or a pair of scissors if you don't have the corner chomper that is not a problem. 
So uh, I'm going to start by gluing this paper to the back of my bookmark. And you can totally use any adhesive that works best for you. Double sided tape or a glue stick or liquid glue like I'm doing right now. That is the one that works best for me. And this piece of uh, pattern paper is cut just a little bit smaller than the size of the bookmark. Okay. And look at that. Super cute and adorable. And here we are. With this flap, I recommend that you fold it before uh, laminating this so it's going to be easier once it is laminated to fold it back and then put it on the clip. Okay? So we're going to put it over here in our pouch. This is just a piece uh, that I had on my stash. And I'm going to put it over here just like that and my laminator is ready over here so we're gonna put it through this so it just takes a little bit of time Be careful because when this one uh, comes out it's really hot so I don't want you to burn your fingers but here it is okay so we have it uh, already and uh, let me just turn this off and then I use my paper trimmer just to cut this to size, remember to leave a tiny uh, border so your laminating work stays in place. We don't want this to open. And of course, don't throw these pieces because you can use them, okay? Okay. And then I'm going to use my scissors because we need to cut this part over here in order to have the flap. And all you have to do is leave in the border. Okay. That's one. And two. Okay. Then I use my corner chomper and I'm going to use the one quarter size and I'm going to chomp both corners over here but we also need to do that in the top part otherwise we can hurt our hands or fingers and I use my uh, scissor for that because my corner chomper can make it over here. So you can see the glue over here, but that's fine because when it dries, it's going to be fine, okay? So we're going to finish the paper clip. And of course, because we are talking about rainbows, I made one in each color and then decided to make uh, the last one using all the colors of the rainbow. So that's all I, I do. You see? I just tie a knot and then I have two strands over here so that means that for every clip I use six strands of a uh, yarn and then we need to separate all of them and that is gonna give you eight strands and I think this looks super adorable and if you don't have yarn because uh, that is something you don't usually use you don't have to go to the craft store and get yarn you can always use a ribbon or you could use just charms I mean the sky is the limit right this is just my idea because I really love using yarn and I love crocheting so I have tons of yarn in my stash so I just need to finish this 
strand and here we go okay and then what we need to do is fold this flap again and you see how easy it is okay super easy because you need to fold this before laminating your bookmark and so uh, we need a um, glue dot and all I do is that I pick up the glue dot with this like that and then we are going to put the paper clip over here we fold the flap to the back and that's it super super secure and look at that super easy super adorable and cute i love these little dolls and so you can use any stamps any colors any themes that you like as long as you're happy to me that is the most important thing so that is all for today i really hope that you get some inspiration that you like this uh, uh, project and if you do please give me some thumbs up and uh, please remember to subscribe if you haven't and if you have any questions or comments please write them down below i will be more than happy to read them and get back to you as soon as i can and of course please remember that i'm posting my videos every friday so uh also hit that notification bell so you know when my new video is up but in the meantime please take care and see you next week bye